Hello, this is Al again, and uh, I wanted to follow up on uh, the progress of the uh, solar panels installation. So uh, let me clarify a few things that I said yesterday, and I, uh, uh, I guess I was so rushed in trying to get this done before the sun went down that uh, I didn't get to the preliminaries. So first of all, uh, what are you going to need? Well, you're going to need a tape measure. You're going to need some exterior grade two and a half inch screws. You're going to need some uh, four inch lag screws and, so f and some five inch lag screws. Plus, uh, you're going to need some, uh, uh, some sheetrock screws. These are number six by one and a quarter, and I'll show you what that's for. And then you're also going to need these uh, junction boxes, which are going to combine, are going to be used like combiner boxes. And then you're going to need uh, two of these bus bars for each one of those, one for negative, one for positive. And then you're also gonna need quarter inch by one and a quarter flat washers. So these are quarter inch lag bolts, four inch, five inch, quarter inch uh, washer by one and a quarter size diameter, number six by one and a quarter, plastic junction box, two bus bars, and two and a half inch uh, deck mate uh, exterior screws. Plus, obviously, you know, tape measure, drill bits, all that kind of jazz. So, <clears throat> I mounted it to the steel roof. So, what does that mean? I can't really lay down a 4x4 because of the ridges. So, what I did uh, is I measured from the widest part of the ridge, which is here, because these ridges are kind of beveled like that. From here to here is 9 inches. So, I settle on, settle on 8 inches. That way I'd have 1 inch uh, play either way or a half inch in between. And I cut some eight inch pieces that you can see right here. And I went ahead and grabbed a regular old two by four and cut uh, the uh, three eight inch pieces and bolted it to it uh, by marking uh, with my marker right here. I just laid two by four down on the roof and I marked kind of where the ridges went, right? And I did that for each one of those. So that when I cut the eight inch pieces, I was able then to use these two and a half inch deckmate screws, only one, and screw it to it. Why do I need to do that? Well, so I can raise it high enough for the two by four to go across. There's one in the middle for support and then one at the end. So I use that as a template and I'll show you the one that I use as a template is on the four horses down there. I mean, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, there it is where all the screws and stuff are on top. That's that's my template there, uh, or my jig, I guess. So then I came over here, and after I built my 2x4s and the 2x12, and I uh, screwed them down with the 5 inch lag screws. I just went straight down into the roof, right? And I put one, two, three, there's four for each one. Uh, I put two over there, one over here, one over here, and one over here. The two by 12 has, you know, a couple more. And the same thing for the top one that has four screws, a two by four. So then remember I told you about that little piece of angle iron? Well, there it is. And what I do, and this is uh, based on experiences, I already had the hard time of doing it. Uh, don't screw it down with the screws that are in the front. Screw the screws in the back. So when you lay down the panel on top, you can get this thing out. So that's what I did. So I went ahead and put one screw there, you can see it, and another one over there. And now it's nice and easy for me to lay the panels on top, they'll stay there, and then take those screws out. So the first two panels, as you can see, are up and running. And how do we secure them? Well, the end panels, what I did is I used those uh, two inch uh, corner brackets that I told you about and I marked them with a uh, uh, with a marker and then I grabbed the vise, put it on the vise and with a hammer I bent it down so it would hold this down. In addition to that I used a self-tapping screw into the side of the frame and screwed it into it. So the top and the bottom are the same way. And then I use the number six, one and a quarter inch screws and screw that down here. So now the wind cannot raise this. In between the panels, 
you grab the cables and you get them out so you can play with them uh, and have room to you know maneuver and then I use a four inch lag screw as you can see here with the one and a quarter inch uh, uh, washers and you put them in here and uh, that'll hold them down so there's one up there and one down here this one I just got to adjust a little bit more uh, close it in uh, so that's essentially how that works it's pretty easy and I'll continue doing that for the 10 panels that go on the top row and then the 10 panels that go down on the bottom row so it's a fairly simple project you just gotta kind of you know think about it a little bit and use what's commonly available in the hardware store near you and you too you know will be able to get that knocked out pretty easily so the first two panels are up it's hotter than a frying pan out here this morning i mean it feels like it's way over 100 degrees the humidity is extremely high so i'm going to take a break until the sun comes down uh, more in the afternoon and then finish that out i'll probably have only four panels done today because it's just it's too hot and too humid right now it's just terrible so i'll have that finished and then in the next few weeks i'll you know finish the rest so I'll, i can only do four at a time at least until this weather kind of gets under control a little bit but that tropical storm going by just put things that'll kill there for a while uh, so uh, essentially that's it for now that's the update and uh, I will give you another update on a couple of things here in a couple of uh, uh, in a couple of minutes and uh, you'll be able to see that video also today so thanks God bless and take care <laughs>